old style uh, pocketing side by side with dynamic. So let's take a look at pocket standard. And I use the, the newest version, uh, newest revisions to uh, pocket standard. And that was when Mastercam, this is many, many years ago, added into the roughing strategy the ability to use the high speed. Uh, and what that did is that just rounded all the corners. It's not dynamic. It's not the same at all. It just makes it so that there's uh, fewer sharps in the tool path and it uses these loops to get from one track to the next. So that was the better version from the standpoint of being able to get some reasonable feeds and speeds in there. But because of the potential uh, variance in the, in the radial uh, cutting condition on the tool, you still had to run it slower, and you also typically needed to run you know, multi-depth cuts. So, <clears throat> so looking at the same tool, the same feeds and speeds, and doing something like this with a couple of step downs uh, versus what you see using the power cutting uh, dynamic with large step overs. Um, if you want to see that in action, we have a couple of good videos on the MCAM site on the videos page uh, showing this dynamic with big step overs in 4140 steel. So comparing these two, you'll see that the pocket standard is actually 68K uh, for file size, and the 2D dynamic is only 27.4K. So it's actually to cut the same shape with the same tool in this particular situation is actually less code. Um, so not necessarily true that dynamic creates too big of a tool path it might even cut down the, t the size of the tool path where you're concerned about not having enough memory on the machine to handle uh, that tool path. So, uh, you know, better cutting action. Cycle time is quite a bit less also. So if we take these two scenarios and we run these up into the uh, Mastercam simulator, so op one, We'll run this to the, to the end of this operation. And let's see, we are at uh, 3 minutes and 52 seconds, and it's 4 minutes and 54 seconds for the total. <clears throat> so there's, you know, uh, at least, uh, let's see, what would be the difference? Yeah, so it takes. Uh, less than half the time to cut it with dynamic. But again, you know, that, that, that's all based on the setting. So they're both set to the same feeds and speeds. So if we look at tool, this is set to 55 inches a minute. This is set to 55 inches a minute. Um, so the variable there is how many step downs does it actually take to cut that, and that just depends on the material. I think I've got three step downs in this case and a 65% and a step over. Step over value I think is the same, but in dynamic we helix down in the center, get to depth, we bury the tool, but we control the radial engagement so it's completely 100% consistent and we walk our way into the corners like that. So just something to consider, you know, evaluating those old programs and you know, if you're a production shop, maybe looking at opening up those old files and, you know, dropping in some nice replace, replacement tool pads with some better strategies.